In this tutorial I show how you can use center trigger to superimpose clips over an already existing video and adjust their corners to create a perspective view. For this purpose start center tracker and check the filters box. Process two videos and if you want to keep the audio of the base clip you click audio as well. Now you choose the base clip and the overlay clip. Here it is a bridge over a motorway and a footage of a flying helicopter. Next an area needs to be selected where you want your overlay clip to appear. To do this use the ALT key with mouse button combination to mark four points that specify its new size and new corners. The order in which the four points are marked should be upper left corner, upper right, lower left and lower right. To make the overlay clip fully visible, adjust the dissolve slider to the value 255. To smooth the edges a bit, check the little box next to the dissolve slider. As this example clip starts off white, I'll move the frame slider a bit to the right. So here's the helicopter. Ok, that's it. Now click a key, choose video compression and file name. Let's call the file M1. Now rendering begins. And when it's finished we do another superimposition on the result clip. Again, sensor tracker is started. And we repeat the same procedure as before. The second clip this time is a flock of birds, which we will put further to the left this time. Here we mark the four points. Now set the dissolve filter to 255 and check the little box to smooth the rims of the overlay clip. Now choose compression, file name, M2 this time, and rendering starts. When it's finished, we'll do a third overlay, just for the fun of it. Here it is breeding swallows. This one will be put on top, aligning from left to right. If you want to make the clip translucent, you can also set the dissolve slider to our values than 255. But in this case we put it to the highest value. Indicate compression. Choose a file name and start rendering. When finished we can watch the result video.